What you're looking at here is the Trox International Center Fire Protection. Here Trox tests its fire damper and smoke extraction systems to ensure the greatest level of safety. And of course to achieve rapid progress with respect to the development of this life-saving equipment. Here I am clambering into the heart of the center, the powerful furnace. The interior of the furnace can reach temperatures of up to 1200 degrees, the melting temperature of cast iron. And it's here under these extreme conditions that the fire dampers are tested. I need someone up here to pull up the fume hood. Mr. Baumeister, you manage the experiments here. Why do you subject your fire dampers to such extreme conditions? Well, in an emergency situation, if a fire occurs in a building, our dampers have to save lives. This is why they're subjected to these extreme conditions. And what precisely happens here in this furnace? We run tests here under standard conditions. This means that the temperature rises to 1000 degrees within one and a half hours. And if this damper withstands these conditions, it can then be accepted. So what happens in chronological order? Well, the first step is to prepare this test wall. The sample is placed within the wall, the wall is moved in front of the furnace, the measurement equipment is installed, and this then sends all the relevant data to the control center. So this is your control center here? Correct, we're in the control center here. All the measurement data is sent here and the furnace can also be started from here. There are two cameras in the furnace. These monitor the progress of the experiment and transmit pictures from inside the furnace to the control center. Sensors are installed on the wall, in the furnace and on the sample, and these supply us with all the relevant values and measurement data which are also sent to the control center. There are 20 high-performance burners installed in the furnace and we can start these from here. This means that we can raise the temperature in the furnace to 1200 degrees Celsius within a short period of time. You can start these high-performance burners now yourself, if you like. Or would you prefer to see how these fire dampers work in complex networking systems? 